Well, welcome to Connections. Your host, Lois Smallwood, here with my special guests from Meta Vista. We have Patrick Witz Hello. and his guest, Jane Hayworth. Hello. First time maiden voyage for both of you to sail yes. into the Thanks. ACTV waters. Well, yeah. we're so glad to have you all the way from Meadow Vista, a matching hamlet. I thought <laughs> Auburn was a hamlet when I first moved <gasps> here, but Meadow Vista <laughs> is filled with interesting and talent people. So because, uh, Jane, you were invited by Patrick, we mm -hmm. were going to defer to him and let okay. him uh, tell right. us a little <laughs> bit about Next time. what he's done here <laughs> to take over our set. Patrick, uh -huh. I don't usually let myself be dominated, but in your case, because I asked for color, and I love it when people are obedient, and you have been so obedient. We have parrots, we have things down here that we'll see later, and we have a beautiful hummingbird. So you are a nature photographer? I'm quite eclectic when it comes to photography. Eclectic's great. There's mm -hmm. not any particular area that I am um, dominates. Uh, I take mm -hmm. scenery, I deal with uh, you know birds, flowers, plants, insects. Uh, I've been taking pictures of children for a long time, so and I've all. done weddings before. You know, so I'm right now working on uh, entering into the the infant and baby bump stage. <laughs> oh, okay. So you want to uh, interject here that you, for 19 years, have had your own uh, preschool. Preschool and child care, creative kids preschool and child care in Meta Vista. We've been there for 19 years. And uh, I take somewhere in the neighborhood of 700 pictures of the kids over the course of a year. Uh, and then we offer the to them in a CD or, you know, on C uh, CDs or DVD slideshows. Well, I have a credo that I repeat often, and that is if you want something done, we ask a busy person. So I met Patrick about a year ago, maybe about 14 mm -hmm. months ago. He came to the group. He brought another author with him, and uh, I could tell that he uh, has a lot on his plate. And I admire people that are insane enough to have lots of plates <laughs> in the air and throw them up in the air and flip them over. So good for you, Patrick. Congratulations mm -hmm. on almost two decades, two decades in business out in Meta Vista. Yes, and, thank you. And uh, would you like to then uh, share how the viewers would reach you? Do you have a website? Uh, I do have a website. Uh, it's uh, through artistic uh Fine Arts America. It's uh, Patrick-Wits.artistwebsites.com, uh, and that has a collection of the different photos. And I do have, you know, 70, 80, 100 of them out there. No, 180 of them. I take that back. 180 of them. So. So it's addictive. It's, it is very addictive. <laughs> Some of these were taken quite a few years ago. Some of them are very recent. Uh, this was one of my first ones that I've done uh, and sold. Uh, professionally. Nice. The one above your head there, the dragonfly, oh. has a little story behind it. Uh, that actually saved a life. Uh, it was in mm -hmm. the Art Can uh, Heal mm -hmm. uh, in the hospital and an elderly, elderly gentleman came in. He wasn't feeling well, ended up in the ER, then ended up in the ICU and it was hanging outside the ICU and when the brother of this 79-year-old uh, gentleman saw it said, now, this has been in our family for a long time. The red dragonfly, I guess, has some deep meanings uh, in regards to their Japanese heritage. And they asked if it could be put in his room. They said, okay. They took it out of the hallway, put it in his room. Uh, and then they couldn't care for him there, and they moved him down to UC Davis. And he actually went through five different surgeries and an amputation. Mm -hmm. And he survived it, uh, mainly due to the, you know, the, the spirit of the picture. Oh, so I'm what just an insp thrilled. inspirational story. Next thing you're going to tell uh, tell me that you're a writer. I am a oh writer. My <laughs> God. The guy's a writer. He does everything. You're an everything guy. But what do you write about? Uh, quite a variety of different things. I'm currently working on a World War II novel, and I have a lot of different articles that I've printed, and I have published a lot of pictures in the local newspapers uh, of the children through the child care program. Well, let's see. You're probably running off to the art walk as we speak. Are you leaving <laughs> in 10 minutes? Uh, that's a good idea. Good. Yeah, see, ask a busy person. All right, let's yeah. bounce over to Patrick's uh, a cohort here. I say cohort because uh, Jane is a quilter extraordinaire and uh, has her own website. And uh, you do, do a non-traditional? I do non-traditional quilting. So it's uh, art quilting. And I use a technique that I developed, um, and it's raw edge applique. 
Well, it's applicated. Now, we have a, wow. a very popular ACTV devotee in the audience, mm -hmm. otherwise known as the great Edna. And Edna may want to uh, think about doing, she has so many plates, they spin on her head. Uh, so what if she wanted to, to get involved well, here? If, if she wanted to learn, um, I actually hold a quilting arts club, and that's at Howells um, on Bowman. Okay. Um, and so I do that once a month, the first Thursday of every month. And mm. each month I um, go over a different topic or a different project. Um, so one, the one I do have coming up, um, July 5th, okay. and it's, it's a landscape um, painting and collage. Indeed. And so what you do is take, using a photograph, taking this from a photograph, and then you paint it. I don't know if you could do that, Pat. Mm. Maybe. And then you add fabrics and then stitch over the top of it. Mm. So Interesting. Now, Howells, uh, we want to give them a little plug because they're very special. They've survived. Yeah, Howells uh, is Auburn's uh, quilt, quilt shop. Um, it also sells sewing machines, uh, quilting supplies, sewing supplies, fabrics. And they also have a classroom and they have classes. And so. Do you remember the owner's name? Uh, Mary Lynn Matthews. Hello, Mary Lynn. Oh. Yes, I think yeah. she bought it about three or four years ago when it was in the Bel Air Shopping Center, and then uh -huh. it's recently it moved. Moved, and in yeah. the summertime, it's nice because they have little uh, sales out there. The quilters and the artists get together, and yeah. maybe we'll see you out there. Maybe. But I do uh, see a collaboration there. Uh, of, uh, what, yes. are, what are those S storm birds? What do we call those? The seagulls. Seagulls. The seagulls. So this this bag I made um, from one of Patrick's photographs. Um, I did ask his permission first. <laughs> he said um, it's important. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> Copyright is very important. <laughs> so I, I also like to incorporate um, recycle or recycle fabrics. Um, so I use jeans and things, and which is what I've done on this bag. Nice. Now tell me about what so. you artists, uh, uh, how, how do you handle your treasures? Uh, do we have a disinclination to let go of our attachments? Like, you know, if someone wanted to uh, well. purchase that, is that easily let go of? I do let go of things, oh, yeah. Well, good so for you. Otherwise, you'd probably go to the poorhouse with yeah, all the supplies, and that right? My, my uh, bedroom will be filling up with quilts. Yes. So. so do you have a, a, a little separate area, a Jane a area a that studio. you were <laughs> <laughs> studio? Actually, uh, my studio is actually in my bedroom. Yeah. So the master, you know, the master bedroom is so big. Oh, I had to have a little, you have a little space, space for sewing. OK, what's that uh, at your foot? So, this is actually a pillow I've made. Um, and this is a church Lovely. on Hanalei or in Hanalei on Kauai. Beautiful. So I, I was inspired to start my art quilting from my trip to Kauai. Um, that was in 2003. And I took so many different pictures and the colors. And so well, how did you two uh, engage? Did you, or your children were in his uh, school? Well, I think we met, we met back we in met the writing, uh, I think. writing, uh, writing oh, group. The writing group. We have yeah. a writing group, Gold Country Writers, Inc. And we met there, and then uh, from there we went to uh, her son. Yeah, my son enough. James, who's now seven, came into attended our his preschool for two years. Well, I want to interject uh, Victoria Benanga into the uh, yes. formula here because I think she may be responsible for my link with you. Because how did I find you? It's all blurred after It may a have year. been through K High. Through K High, because mm -hmm. I did a mm -hmm. radio show over there and. Victoria may have said, uh, she, I was looking for writers at the time. I was a little bit more into that syndrome. Now I've opened up the um, umbrella to include photographers, writers, anybody basically that tells me a funny, colorful <laughs> story and delights me for our celebrants group, which meets Monday. And again, you have been to one of the group, and Jane came. And well, of course, you both came on Monday. We had a fun right. time and mm -hmm. interchange. So it's great to, uh, uh, to meet you artists. So we're going to uh, bounce back to Patrick because he's just overwhelmed us here with all these uh, wonderful uh, creations. I love this uh, hummingbird, but uh, this is uh, intriguing here, Patrick. That's actually an oil painting. I'm also into oil painting, and I'm in the process mm. of taking a lot of my photos and I'm starting to oil paint them. Uh, this happened to be from a uh, picture that was supplied to me from Canada, uh, and uh, I kind of elaborated on it. And uh, it took me a while to do, but I'm in the process of slowly bringing all of that over. 
I brought this one in particular oh. because I know you're into parrots. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's, you know, did you travel with Jane to Hawaii? <laughs> uh, no, no, actually that was from my trip down into to Mexico. Oh, uh, I have another one here lovely. that uh, we are, this one, and oh, that one that? is actually, um, I was accepted into the wow. KVIE art auction well, that's coming up in September, and this one will be on hand. And so they'll be bidding on that one. They'll then. be bidding on that Exciting. one. That's correct. And this one, Edna likes. Edna likes. <laughs> yes, we may see Edna doing that. She may do that before her quoting project. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, she's got a lot on her plate. Yes, Edna <laughs> is uh, spinning plates constantly and guesting here at ACTV. Uh -huh. Okay, any more collaborations going on? Will you guys uh, have something else in mind? Uh, what are you going to do next? We're always doing well, writing, I, different things. Oh, different writing. All right, let's but see. But I'm inspired by um, well one of That's good. I can see that. Let, let's see some more of your little squares. Okay. Well, let me show you a larger one first. Let's see a larger one first. I have been quilting um, oh, reptiles. Reptiles. So this oh, look at oh. that. This one. You guys love color. Isn't that handsome? Oh, wow. And this one was actually in um, Quilting Arts magazine. Nice. I wrote the How to Make It Beautiful. project. And so that one was shown well, Edna, there. Edna's very busy. What is your time investment there, Jane? Um, <laughs> this would take a few days a week, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also have some um, pet portraits. Oh, I've started that. making pet portraits. Cat. So here's a kitty cat. This is Izzy, my friend Alex's cat. I have no pets, so I have to find pets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, look at that handsome this dog. is the dog. Very nice. And actually, this one's not a pet. This is my other pet. This oh, is Griff. Griff. Oh, yeah. Nice. Love those uh, vibrant colors. Oh, is that from a photograph? Yeah, these are all taken mm -hmm. from photographs. Very nice. And I enlarge the photograph and almost like trace the main lines. Um, extract the different tones and then find fabrics to match. How many hours so a day uh, is given to your craft? Um, it varies. A couple to You're sure quilters of America, yeah. right? And okay. I, I also um, take commissions or make custom quilts for people. Wonderful. Um, so if, if people have an anniversary coming up, I can make a family tree quilt and that uses nice. photographs. This is my family. Well, the family The Howard family name. But well, this is using photographs printed onto fabric. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so um, like postcards. So, it's a, for a family tree, I would use a tree, uh, insert the photographs, mm -hmm. and then um, put the leaves on and the names of the people and dates. I have a challenge. Things, you so. can do my wife's tree. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Might be a big quilt. <laughs> Collaborations at ACTV. Yeah. So, so what we, I saw a little bumblebee over there. Oh, the bumblebees. That is so. Yeah, this one I actually, yeah, um, look at that. I hand appliqued. So this goes back to almost like the English traditional patchwork. Oh, Edna will want to do that. How much time would that take? Maybe. A week. Oh, yeah. okay. Because so. that's hand sewn. And, and so. that's therapy also. That it's just so longer. relaxing. Again, Howells, we want to give them a <gasps> plug because she can be found there, Jane. Yeah, uh, I can be found there Yeah, once you're. a month, uh, first Thursday of the month, doing my Quilting Arts Club. Now, Patrick, uh, are you uh, commissioned uh, if someone uh, wants something done? I could do that. Yes. Okay. Both um, have websites, so both why don't we you both have we're getting to the middle of the program now? Why don't you give you where you can be reached? And same thing with you, Jane. So we have that out there, and it'll be on the on the screen as well. Right. So, so you, yeah, you why don't you provide that, uh, Patrick uh, Witz, W I T C for the Google? You can actually Google I Patrick Google Witz, you. and it'll it'll come up uh, in a variety of different areas, both mm -hmm. in the writing as well as the child care program and Patrick. my photo photography. Mm -hmm. It kind of everything comes up. Now you have a, uh, a huge house. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Decorate. Whoops. laughs> you may have a cluttered house like uh, we all do, right? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> I have it everywhere. <laughs> yes. My hobby is very expanded. It's from what would we do rooms. without our creative hobbies? Yes, I mean, we don't even want to yeah. think about that. We probably yeah. want to spend all our time <coughs> doing that. Uh, I should be at the golf course in 20 minutes. But uh, what I'm saying is we uh -huh. do, when we enjoy, we really like to 
keep it up, especially it's Devil. easy. Yeah. With this good weather, you have the inspiration to be outside. And Jane, you have uh, some travels. Are you going back to Hawaii? Um, that'll be next year. Okay. Um, Another abandoner, but let us know yeah. when you be gone. All yeah. right. <laughs> so we'll um, know where to send your email. Okay, I like this uh, seahorse sea up horse. there. That's quite appealing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Very that nice one. colors. Yeah, the, the background in that one I've um, hand painted. Oh, nice. Uh, so I take them to hand fish. painting, also hand dye fabrics. So. Starfish there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we both know that you're both crafty, colorful, and um, available if people contact you on your website, you're at yeah. Howells. Uh, tell our viewers why we should go out to Meta Vista. That's not really a destination uh, point there, but I do hear about this great little tea shop out there that you can buy herbs. Are they still in business? <laughs> They're still in business. They're okay. downtown. You can still go in there. They have, uh, it's right next to the pharmacy. They've been there around a little long time. I just heard they have some really good teas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they yeah. have quite a variety. Quite a variety. And quite a variety. People might be... Uh, well, we have the little local cafe that has their dinners and lunches. Uh, there's, you know, not much. You don't blink when you drive through. You'll miss it. <laughs> um, Hamlet. So, so yeah. what, what about this Pioneer Day? Is that oh, Pioneer, coming up? Why don't you talk Pioneer about that? Pioneer Day was uh, two weekends ago. Cool. It's usually totally the first uh, first weekend in first Sunday in June, and uh, we actually had uh, we do a lot of parade floats for the child care, you know, for creative kids. We enter into it all probably the last, I would say, sixteen times we've entered and we've taken you know, top honors. Usually win a prize. Yes, yeah. we usually do. Uh, this past <laughs> year we did our, our candy land. <laughs> the entire float was covered in candies. That's right, you invited me. Ah, I appreciate you missed that. Out. But you might have the opportunity to see it on uh, July 3rd up in Colfax. Uh, we're even planning on doing it on July 4th oh, parade here okay. in Auburn. Good. So that'll be, yeah. you can view us there. <laughs> Everybody loves a parade. Uh, what do we have down here as far as crayons? Oh. Well, this one was kind of inspired from uh, dealing with the, you know, child care program. Uh, I felt that it was a uh, still life that I wanted to do. And uh, it's kind of, I call it my crayon wars. Uh, it's basically your warm colors versus your cool colors. Um, and I've been doing a lot more still lifes, having a little fun with them. Um, and uh, it's one of the things that I have a lot of fun with is actually naming a lot of uh, the different photos. Um, <laughs> just uh, this one was named Sweet. <laughs> uh, it's, um, now what about the one, Patrick, that Edna is going to be uh, inspired by? I don't know quite sure what she has in mind, but where was that taken? In this one was actually taken in, in Escarat, uh, Mexico. Uh, and uh, it was just something that looked very nice in color, but when I converted it over to black and white, it literally popped. And one of the things that I'm finding is the, I used to do uh, photography with 35 millimeter, went through, you know, past 40 years, I've gone through about eight different 35 millimeter cameras and I entered into digital about five years ago and haven't stopped. Uh, I now take somewhere in the neighborhood of between the child care and taking photos and everything else, I may have in the neighborhood of 8,000 pictures a year. I take a lot of pictures. How many secretaries do you have That's to keep all these I, It's <laughs> they, you know, again, you know, it's it's still the same situation to where you take forty pictures to pick one that mm -hmm. actually fits the right lighting, is the right clarity, is the right color. And since I've gone digital, one of the things that I have really enjoyed is being able to manipulate the pictures. Uh, matter of fact, the butterfly there mm -hmm. has been worked on. I'm not sure about some of the other ones nice. here. Uh, I've been enjoying working with them in Photoshop, adjusting them, modifying them, et cetera. Um, as I said, you know, the photography has changed over the years from, you know, everybody has their photo albums. My concern is, you know, photo albums have been around for years and years and years. Photographs have been around for, you know, 75, 100 years. But now everything's gone digital. It's electronic. It's, you know, the digital camera makes taking pictures a lot easier, manipulating them a lot easier, sharing them a lot easier, uh, erasing them a lot easier. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so you, you know, and you know, when you think about 
well, I'm looking at pictures from my great-grandparents. Uh, what are my great-grandchildren going to be looking at? Uh, you know, uh, media, tech media technology <laughs> changes so quickly. I mean, we mm. used to be reel to reel, and now we're into digital Blu-ray. So you can't play reel to reel on a digital Blu-ray. <laughs> so are you losing something here? And mm. actually putting them in print makes them available for everybody to see and adds longevity to it. What is this process called with the hummingbird? This is, uh, this is on canvas. It's basically a photograph that's printed out on canvas. Many of the different places are doing it. Costco, a lot of the online pro uh, photo programs, uh, they all have them available. It's, uh, it's a nice process. It's actually a ready to hang. There's no framing mm -hmm. involved unless you would like, like to do it. that. Like it. Uh, it adds... <laughs> um, and these are also, this is a, an archive. It has a wraparound. Oh, nice. So it goes all the way around. It doesn't need a frame. Like yeah. uh, it, but you have to make sure that your image is the right size. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're wrapping part of your picture around. And they're now uh, offering different uh, mm -hmm. programs and different companies to where they'll run a black bead around. They'll run either black or white or the wraparound, you know, so that you don't a lose the picture. Am I missing a signature there, Patrick? Uh, it's <laughs> actually, uh, this, as I said, was one of my first originals. Uh -huh. uh, since then, I've been digitally putting in a signature uh, and also uh, digitally putting in, uh, you won't notice it in certain areas, like right in there is my name. Oh, you don't see it. Kind of like a bad doodle. That's you. It's, there is a lot. Of, <laughs> I believe one of the, the biggest problems in the industry is, you know, uh, theft, uh, digital theft uh, oh, over the internet. Okay. Uh, even if you have it with all the different, you know, watermarks on it, those are, they offer programs that remove them. And so take people's heads and put them on other people's bodies. Uh, <laughs> that they do. I have done that. <laughs> uh, okay, I, we heard I've it here. done that. We heard it here at ACTV, <laughs> head transplants. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, Patrick, who does the framing? Uh, I have been doing the framing myself, uh, although through the website that I have, they do offer framing a variety of different ways as well as Canvas. Uh, they're a little more expensive, you know, if anybody wants to contact me directly, I'll be happy to discount it for them, uh, make it a little more competitive. Uh, they're in the business of doing this, but they give me at least the exposure and a website that is protected, so I can't go wrong in that regard. Now, Jane, how are you protecting your art? Well, I have signatures on my art now, so. Good girl. Yes, and they're all individually made and Okay, now if we were to enter uh, the Jane home, uh, do we just see quilts all, all over the house, on the walls, Patrick? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes <head>. definitely. <laughs> on the bed, <laughs> on the <laughs> pillows. I did, I did actually, um, I moved here in 1998, and compared to England, the house, you know, is so much larger. I did originally start painting on canvas pictures, um, so I could put those up on the walls and uh, decorate the house. But then when I switched to quilting, I actually some of them I copied into fabric. So I've got the same picture in fabric. Now, speaking of fabric, where do you get your fabrics? Yeah, Howells. Howells. Howells, Howells, on Howells. <laughs> <laughs> on Howells. Is, a good, yeah. is a good place. My yes, grandmother probably used the to only place in Auburn right now. Now, do you to order any of that online? Um, I have done, but I think with fabric, it's something people love. Tech, and so, yeah. It. So when you see fabric that you like, that's that be when I buy it. Now, will we see you at the either oh. one of you at the Auburn Fair sh showing your creations? I hadn't really thought about it. Mm. I've I've entered a few different contests. Uh, I've gotten a couple of awards, but nothing grandiose. I just had a oh, a, you did. a quilt piece. Um, it was in the arts building in the out of the box. Um, oh, yes, I think they just Edna did. was uh, involved in that. Yeah, the out of the box. Well, good for you. So I did a three D. Owl quilt. Oh, and an owl. Oh, I'd love so to see that next time. Maybe we'll. Next time. I'll have to make something different next yes, time. Yes, I'll have to so have. So uh, let's see. What about showing the the picture on the bag that you. Uh, did Patrick do that picture or did you take that yourself? That I took myself, yeah. This was my uh, trip to Kauai. So on this side is my daughter on the beach. That's nice. Becky. But she's a little older now. And this is the picture of the beach, so Total key beach. Totable 
photographs, right? Uh, total yeah, albums. So. That'd be fun. Well, she's so sewn everything. What was the, you, you did yeah, this bag actually. I've what was I the bag? This one I've made with um, has an old rice bag, the Hessian from oh the rice yes, bag. Yes, it has, yeah, the rice bag on the front. Vintage. And oh also nice. on the back, it has a mandarin sack. So nice. You so even quilted a bag out of. Uh, Juice containers. Juice containers, yes. Yeah. Juice containers. <laughs> so, are, are you good. going to tell me, Jane Hayworth, that sewing is still alive and people are still sitting at sewing Definitely. machines? <laughs> and but those those uh, sewing machines are computerized. Don't they you have are. To take classes. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely a lot, a lot more classes you can take to use the more. And then you can take those at Howells. You can take those at Howells, yeah. Um, and I'm actually teaching. About local. This summer, I'm teaching a, a children's summer camp. Nice. And trying to encourage the younger generation to keep sewing. So. Well, if children, well, we'll use the if word. When people used to sew, and uh, you know, do exercise and things like that, they were at the computer. It was non-existent uh -huh. in my era. So it, it would be pleasant to see children doing photography, wouldn't it? And crafting, and whatever, so that yeah. they would have a balance. I mean, the world is what? It's techno technologically, you know, immersed in that. But it would be nice to see, uh, do your children, do you have a girl? Is do the daughter into this? I have two daughters. Um, they're both, yeah, I, um, I'm the junior quilters teacher for the Foothill Quilters Guild. Um, so they have a group of high schoolers, and we meet once a month. And actually, right now they're involved in a project, um, and it's called Dress a Girl Around the World. Nice. And the project is to use pillowcases to make into dresses. Um, yes. So they have a ambition to make a hundred dresses, I think, this year. Oh, uh, good. Good things happening in Auburn and in. Meadow Vista, and again, we're going to give you colorful people a chance to uh, tell our viewers how they can find you for those that have just tuned in and said, oh yeah. my God, what's going on? <laughs> Patrick? Uh, you can reach me by Googling me, just Patrick Witz, or you can go to my gallery, which is at http colon backslash backslash Patrick uh, dash Witz. <laughs> It's a hard one. At, <laughs> um, uh, and then dot, uh, artistwebsites.com. Uh, yeah, so Wits, I like it when people have unusual names. Smith, not so much, because Wits, you can Google that. But if it's John Wits, I mean, John okay. Smith, forget it. I mean, there's right. seven million come You're up. You can look and just no, look. Hayworth. Hayworth, it's actually, I say Haworth, and it's a town Haworth. in England, okay. in Yorkshire. Um, and so you could find me, um, Jane Howarth, that's H-A-W-O-R-T-H, um, on like a Google search. Or I have a website, www.howarthfamily.name. Well, these oh. two creative people have uh, yeah. graced our premises today with color, style, and in Patrick's case, obedience. We have a parrot down there, we have <laughs> color, we have a good guest. This man has jumped through the hoop. So <laughs> we say, hey, hey, to Metavistans. I don't know that we've had a pair from Metavista. Uh, so you are anointed <laughs> with the uh, first dynamic, <laughs> <laughs> colorful <laughs> people from Metavista. May your paths be blessed with Thank more you. and more color Thank and you. creative delights. It's been delightful <laughs> to have you here, and I hope you spread the word. Go home and have your individual shows in your own home and bring your friends over and enjoy <laughs> the ACTV experience all over again. Thank you, you for having Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, look at those beautiful colors. <laughs> wow, wasn't that painless? <laughs>